Now we've talked about volume, let's talk about titles. So we have this great clip so far, we have it sped up. We're gonna click on the first one here and we're gonna add a title to our lovely project. So I'm gonna click on titles and this gives you some, again, some very standard titles that you can use. And they have effects that are with them. So like focus and pop and you can see they're previewing those effects as we sit here. So I'm gonna choose focus. And just like that, it gives me a text title here. And to edit that, I just tap on it, delete out the text, that's important. And we're gonna call this Jurassic Park Kitchen. Now it's automatically out of that focus. You'll see in the top left-hand side of that clip, uh, down on the Brewery project bar, you'll see a T has appeared. That means that there is a title on this as already. So I'm gonna play that and you can see how it pulls right in. There's my sped up clip. Now you're gonna be previewing your video a lot. It is natural to keep going back, watching, rewatching certain areas. You're going to be extremely tired of watching your own video by the end of it, but it's great because you get an idea and you can look for errors or things that look unnatural for you. I'm again going to click on that first clip there. I can choose whether that's in the lower corner or center. Every single type of text title has a different type of justification. So you not, may not be able to use the center or lower on every single one. For example, if I choose the gravity, I do have center or lower on that one. Um, it really depends on what title that you choose. And some of them have more text boxes than others. Like you'll see this one here, Jurassic Park Kitchen still stays within my title. So I can switch between these, but now I have additional text boxes to use. Let's talk filters. I'm gonna go back to focus on this one. Um, if you've ever used Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook or pretty much anything out there nowadays, there is going to be the option to add a filter. It is the same for, let's say, your Jurassic Kitchen video. So if I wanted to choose Blockbuster, you can see it adds kind of like a greenish tint to it. It just gives you a more natural color feel depending on your project. Even things like Duotone, again, not so natural, but it might be the feel that you're going for for your video. And this could be good for even just an introduction, and then maybe you change it back to normal. And again, this is only applying to the clip that you have selected. So if I have cuts, like I have three clips here by definition, that means that it's only applying to the first one that is in yellow. So if I choose like Silent Era, when I play this now, you can see as soon as I hit that transition, it moves me back to normal color scheme. So if I want that throughout the entire video, I need to apply it to all of those clips. 